Welcome to 6 Days with Nat Jones, product review of Gold's Gym's Olympic and Standard Bench Press Squat Rack XRS 20. The first thing you'll notice is that I have a freestanding bench and a freestanding bench press and squat rack. This is great because it allows you to do more exercises. The freestanding bench press and squat rack holds up to 310 pounds. That's at least what the manufacturer says. So I've got 300 pounds on this. I'm going to give it a little shake. And you see it's pretty solid, right? It has nine positions that you can move it up to, holes in the back. It also has weight racks in the back. Just to show you. So you can store your weights. Other thing that it has, which I consider a lifesaver for anybody who's working out at home by themselves, are these self-spotters. I'll talk about that in a second. The self-spotter is a great accessory to the freestanding bench press and squat rack. It works like this. It gives you about an inch worth of safety zone when you bench press. So, if I'm lifting really heavy or lifting to failure, I can do that without worrying about getting hurt. The only drawback about it is that it doesn't allow you the full range of motion. The freestanding bench allows you to do six positions. This is the highest incline position. Incline position two, three, and four. Back down to flat and decline. One of the drawbacks is that the decline position really isn't deep enough. But switching between positions is easy. It has a nice slot system with a little handle behind here. So I have to do this lift, select your slot, and place it in. I've shared with you all the major features of the XRS20 Olympic bench set. Now for the good, bad, and the ugly. The good, it's well constructed. It's a solid piece of equipment. The other thing I like about it, that for the price point, you get two great pieces of equipment and it's relatively economical compared to other bench sets out there. The bad. What I can't stand is when I'm changing positions between bench and squat and levels in between inclines is that I have to take time to screw it in and screw it out. That's kind of a pain in the ass. The other thing I don't like is these little rubber endings here. Every time I move this thing around because it doesn't have wheels, they constantly fall off. So that kind of is a pet peeve and drives me a little crazy. The last thing is if you're short, when you lay down on this thing, the bench is pretty high. So your feet won't touch the ground. I'm wearing sneakers right now, and when I don't wear sneakers, my feet have problems touching the ground, and I don't feel very um, solid my foundation when I'm doing my bench presses. I have to put my feet on the bottom stand here. Despite the minor drawbacks of the XRS20, I give it four stars. It's a solid piece of equipment, and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to buy it. So check out my blog. I'll have some links to where you can actually buy it and see comparative models. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I will talk to you later.